What's going on guys, Little Welsh here, and welcome back to the Man in the Suit uh, Analog Horror. If you remember this, I reacted to like a Godzilla Analog Horror where the man like became the suit and whatnot, if you remember that. That was pretty cool, but apparently there's like a continuation, I think, but the, there's new videos, so I wanted to show, show them and react to them. Alright guys, guys, so this next video is called Seven Updates. Uh, apparently this is like a law filled more video, I guess. We're going to see what happens in this. I got several updates on what happened after the Mo Moshira incident. Mm -hmm. Seven important things happened during that. Alright, like the seven wonders. I guess it was probably not a wonder. The spy had passed by a room where the Tobo, uh, Toho executive and government figure were talking. He was hearing him talk about stuff he shouldn't have, I guess. We're talking about the current state of them on the matter. It's not going to be good. Talking about the cocoon, the current state Godzilla was in, the new uh, Electra. I can't really say that. <laughs> the most important detail I got from that, I finally knew what was helping them all along with hiding this. Oh, we're gonna get a little, little uh, input. That'd be good. Secondly, where's the cocoon? The cocoon or chrys uh, chrysalis was forming in one of the warehouses that stored the props for filming and making. Sorry for not saying any of these words right. <laughs> they got people to try and take it off, but when touching the cocoon, it sprayed orange gas that flooded the room, presumably being something radioactive or poisonous. Yeah, it's probably what uh, made these guys morph. Thankfully, no one got hurt. They evacuated the warehouse instead of removing it, or they they want to keep it studying. Possibly. I am very agitated about this whole situation. They're doing stupid little mistakes that ruin other people's lives. Oh yeah, they <laughs> they truly are. Third lead scientist or specialist arrived on the scene where the man in the suit released his blood. Releases blood, expecting the same part of them before, but they were met with this. Ooh. Is it gonna be not gonna be like it's gonna be like gassy or something? Like acid, maybe? I have no idea. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah. Ooh. It's like goopy almost. That's so strange. That is very strange. It had gotten so bad that they needed people in hazmat suits so they could come closer to the puddle. Yeah, it's, it's like radioactive, yeah. As they looked at the puddle, they realized they needed to shut down the area. Yeah, that could be very dangerous to human life. <laughs> they were too afraid to touch the substance, so they closed down the area. I don't know why you just didn't kill off the man's suit when he started this whole thing. But you wanted money. Fourthly, someone at the scene of the puddle said that they could see an eyeball in the foaming puddle. They weren't too sure to believe their claims, thinking it could have been a hoax. An eyeball? Did someone like drown in that puddle, or is that Godzilla's eye? They weren't taking any chances. Looking closer, they could find the eye in the puddle. Yeah, you don't want to touch that stuff. Just don't go near it. It's not good. Not worth your lives. Okay. They weren't successful in finding the iron puddle. The area around it was shut down. Good. Don't know how you're getting clean all that stuff, but uh, it's best just to leave it alone. Best to leave it. Fifthly, they, I found out that they were going to make another movie despite what's going on. Are you serious? What is going on with you people? Another film? Ugh. Don't know when to quit. Six, I've got on a mail for one of my daughters. Okay. So I believe this is to be like the spy, I guess. Or the photographer, I remember. If I remember. So what's this letter say? Opening the letter. 
Me, mummy, you, camera. And what is that at the end there? By the me person. By the door. We miss you, daddy. Something's blocked out. Dear, oh, I'm, I can't read that. But worried about you or something like that? I cannot read that writing. I apologize. If you guys can read it, want to pause? Oh, I miss them. Oh, I bet you do. You've been lumbered with this, sort of. Because you're not, you can't speak on it? I'm stuck here. Only here to show what happened. Yeah, you could, apparently he was not allowed to go to the press. So... I want to go home, but I can't. Yeah. Like, he's under contract or something, so we can't speak out about what's happening. Last thing I got updated on was getting the concept of what the new monster would be like. Ooh. Is this gonna be the moth? This time I'm going to try and intervene. I don't think you should. I don't think you should. I can't let this happen. Not for a third time. No. You gotta, you just gotta stop it. You, you gotta stop this somehow. It's not good. It's not good that this is happening. Two men are dead. Possibly a woman as well. And like that cocoon. Ooh, look at that. Is that the three-headed dragon? Alright guys, so this is the next one in the series. This is the newest one that he's released. So we're going to watch it. About Apparently this is about the three-headed dragon, I think. But we're going to see and find out. Alright, hello Godzilla. Spewing out your fires, or oh, taking down whole ships. Nothing the screen has ever shown before can surpass the thrills of Ghidra, a three-headed dragon. Ghidra, three-headed monster. So yeah, it is about the three-headed dragon. Damn, that would be creepy to see. Is there like several actors in that movie yet? <laughs> or is it just an animatronic? Because you, could you imagine people getting morphed into that? Toho decided to be more careful and cautious during filming their next film. <sighs> You're never careful. <laughs> You're not careful, Toho. Dang. The plan was to make a semi puppet semi suit. The reasoning for this is to possibly confuse the man in the suit. Oh. Okay, so he doesn't, like, violently go for them in that way. Toho have been testing the new materials, materials that would be resistant to heavy damage. Okay. So, like, fire damage and whatnot. The materials consisted of blank, blank, and blank. We're not allowed to know it's uh, confidential, guys, unfortunately. We're not allowed to know. But there they are making the suit, it looks like. The lower body would have this toughened material for like if he claws and whatnot, getting in the other belly. The head and neck, however, were made of puppeteering, meaning they would be made of this material. So maybe like a bit of a softer material, maybe more malleable, and so it's more movable, I guess. Most other kaiju said that they were. That were in the film were puppets learning from their mistakes from last time. The lava from Mothra. Yeah. Because that woman got like morphed, didn't she? That time, I, this time I will intervene. Good, you need to. Can't let this happen again. <laughs> what is this? Is that like. I don't know what that is. It looks like an axe or a bat. I know it sounds risky to go to the workplace with a shock. Oh, it's a shoddy. But this thing needs to put put down once and for all. I could just I could just see what that was. It's a shotgun. <laughs> but yeah, good idea, dude. You need to shut this down. 
It's gone on for too long. <laughs> His appearance changes. I'm not sure how. It might be Toho's doing. Oh, is he bigger? Or has he got like that blue fire breath now? Toho's team were incredibly confident about this plan. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Nothing about your plan is going to work, Toho. However, their confidence was put to the test. I thought it would be. It's not going to work. They only had one last thing to film. The man in suit was behaving properly because of their heavy security. I'm still surprised he's alive in that suit. Something's keeping him alive. Well, the man in the suit couldn't possibly take the bite out of the suit actor because of the toughened material. Oh, you'd be, uh, you'd be sure about that. However, the, they have forgotten about one thing. Mm -hmm. They're making like real live monsters. According to how it was built, the neck and head were most valued parts. Ooh. The head, the neck and head were supported by the suit actors' arm, arms and hands. You need a big dude to do that. This was a contraption that made so the suit actor would pull on a lever to open the mouth of Gidra. I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right. I do apologize. I did hear the name, but I'm just like. I couldn't remember. <laughs> in one of the last shots, the man in the suit would just stay there, not moving. Oh, but he retaliated. Then he would start shaking violently. Oh. What's going on with you, dude? The team on the set tried to do something, but, but the suit actor for Gudra got too close. I won't get too close. The man in the suit would bite onto the head of Gidra. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna morph into that dragon. He will. It's like he's mutating them. Oh, dang. That's brutal. That is very brutal. The man in the suit would puke the same red boiling substance from before into Gudra's suit head. Ooh. Ooh, that is gross. That is very gross. The acidic substance ran through the suit actor's arm that supported the neck. Oh no. So he's like boiling alive right now almost. Oh gosh. But okay. See, this is when I started to enter the studio. However, some of the workers were they were confused. You got that shoddy. Gonna gonna pull out. Need to put this down. Need to shut it off. Need to shut it down. This might confuse about me being a guitar case. The shotgun I bought in, being inside of it. Yeah. You don't want to be too suspicious. They stop me asking a question. Where have you been? Maybe I've been out. Maybe I went to get some food. <laughs> I asked, wasn't I fired? Oh yeah. He was, wasn't he? If I remember in from the last tapes. You never were, they replied. Oh. Okay. So he was never fired. He just never showed up for work. As I barged through the through, ignoring their commands, I realized that the set they were it had a power box in the room. It's behind Godzilla though. He must have noticed me because after puking his acidic blood in the head of the Gridra suit, he faced the power box. Oh, it happened so fast. He switched it off, didn't he? He like... He broke the power box? Is that what I'm getting at? 
Something bad's about to happen. Oh, we get like actual footage. This is interesting. Oh, you can hear that breathing now. Oh, that would be so creepy. That'd be absolutely terrifying. Oh my gosh, okay. Man, the suit's about to go down. What happened? Okay, you get your camera back. What's happening? Did you get the man in the suit? What the hell? That ain't good. Did you shoot? I... Not sure. Or is that three-headed dragon? Oh, he's pissed. It's like he shot, shot him in the face, but he still gets up. What is happening? What is this? I don't know what this is. Is that like him moving or something? I can barely tell what I'm looking at here. Interesting. But what happened to the guy in the uh, the Gitra suit? What the hell is happening? Something's moving. Something's moving. Oh, is that the dude in the suit? Oh, that was weird. So, did the guy in the suit, in the, like, Gidra suit morph too? Is that what that was saying? I have no idea. That was interesting though. But damn, it's good to be back to the man in the suit. That was great tapes. But guys, if you do want to watch these for yourselves, the links will be in the description. And yeah, these are pretty terrible and I can't wait to see where they take the story next. And I'll see you all next time.